So to import a Ordnance Survey file into Civil 3D and convert it into DWG to enable sharing with other users, um, the first thing you need to do is open a template. So if you open the master map at DWT, and if you haven't got that, then Catalyme will be able to give that for you. And once that's open, we move over to the map workspace, which is called the planning and analysis. And we wait and you can see that what it's done is imported a load of the templates already brought in all the layers for ready for the file. So all we need to do is go to the insert, map import, select your GZ file or GML file, whatever it is. Dialog box opens, right click, deselect all because we're not interested in a lot of that data for for a DWG so we just want the topographic area go to the data column and create object data because we want some object data to come with it press OK and that's just going to import that so that's managed to import that in quite quickly if I zoom in extension you can see that we've just got a massive white blob now if I just go to my task pane right click and update That will just um, start to look at the, the object data that come with it and then style it accordingly. So there's two things we can do here. What I tend to do is I tend to remove the, the layers that are not in use. So that I'm just left with a topographical area. Now, two things we can do here is you could then output save current map as a DWG. And if I save that to my desktop and call that test one and save that, which is one method. Um, what I tend to do, if you're going to do this over and over again, is just to connect turn it into an SDF file and I'll call this test one as well and that's going to go on my desktop press OK and what I'm going to do with this is create data because we want data or the object data that comes with the Ordnance Survey else it's wasted um, press OK and that's going to um, export that out to a different file file. So we've, in effect we've created two file formats, an SDF and a DWG. Now if I open plain AutoCAD, so this is plain AutoCAD, and if I open a drawing from my desktop called Test1, you can see that we've got a DWG. And we can do and if we list that, you can see that they're just hatch solids and dumb objects. So, that's that one. The other thing that we talked about that I did before was a SDF file. So if I just close that one down and start a new drawing. The reason why I use SDFs is, is you can create a library of all your, all your SDFs and use the connector data. So, if I want an SDF, I can browse to it. It's on my desktop. It's called Test1 and I'm going to connect to it and all I want to do is bring in the topographical area add to the map and you can see it's it's blue but I can style that I can add that as whatever theme theme I want descriptive group and I'm just going to put a master map theme on there Palette. These are already in your system, so you can see there's a master map in here somewhere. Full. Press OK based on the descriptive group, and there we go. So we're back to how we were. The difference is now um, we have a table of all the data. So if I select an object in here, um, that building for instance, you can see that it goes down to all the information. There's the calculated area of that building. Change the and depending on the level of Ordnance Survey, you've probably there's the toyed, depending on what data is available to you.